all of my games, for the most part, got stuck in game dev limbo. Development limbo is a place your game goes when it lacks a foundation of ideas and purpose. Your game, like mine, can be there without us even knowing it half the time. If it stays there too long, your game will die, like mine did. That's why you need a prototype before it's too late, before your game dies. But what is a prototype? How do we build one? And how can we use a prototype to keep us from going into that limbo state? That's what we're talking about today. Let's get into it. So what is a prototype? A prototype is basically just the representation of the core ideas and mechanics for your game idea, really. A prototype is the simplest version of your game that proves whether your core idea is fun or not. It's a rough, unfinished version that focuses on the gameplay mechanics, not the graphics, not the sounds, not the visuals, nothing else, just mechanics. And it lacks polish. It's ugly. Think of it as just the skeleton of your game idea. It's just enough to test whether your idea works or not. A prototype is not perfect. It is not pretty. It is not complicated in the sense of, you know, mechanics. Think of, you know, Prime Premonition, my game that's coming out. You can go wishlist it. It is a Pokemon Snap like game. You can go wishlist it. But a prototype of that game is just the player taking a picture of things. That is the prototype. You know, whether you can have different lenses and different enemies and all that kind of stuff, that's not part of the prototype. The prototype is just taking a picture. That's what a prototype is. It is the core idea of your game. That's what it is. So where the limbo aspect of it comes in is when you get stuck in the idea phase. Basically, game dev limbo is when your game idea can't leave the idea phase. You're literally stuck. You can't move forward because nothing can get decided. There's no foundation to build anything off of. There's no foundation to build ideas off of and build upon the mechanics and ideas that you have. Instead of having, you know, a foundation of maybe taking pictures, there's all these other ideas that come in and out. And, and it's not quite over scoping because the ideas aren't actually being added. It's the last of foundation that the ideas are built off of and this is the idea phase and if you get stuck there you get stuck in game dev limbo because there's just hundreds of ideas that don't get built up there's nothing about them that has any meat to them because they're just floating around and there's nothing to them there's nothing to them they just float around like oh should i have this idea maybe i should have this idea this is the idea phase there's too it's too much is too much and what this leads to is bloating tons of ideas that don't make sense that don't fit or that you don't feel confident in it leads to just so much fat and bloat and really it becomes like a lack of confidence because there's so many ideas and there's so many things that you feel like you need to bring to life that you don't know where to start and this is where the cycle starts you have an idea that doesn't have a foundation that doesn't have a prototype and then it continues to bloat without a foundation and then you just have all these things swirling around without a foundation to build anything with any real meat off of. This is the limbo that many of my games got stuck in. And what does this blow and what does this lack of foundation and what does this lead to? It leads to zero feedback. No one can play your game because your game's not alive yet. Your game is not able to be tested and tried and, and put up against all of these other ideas. You can't bring it to life because it doesn't have anything it doesn't have that skeleton like that i mentioned but earlier without a prototype you can't have people test your idea and when you don't have people testing your idea again you cannot build a foundation to build a game off of that's what a prototype is it is a foundation it is the core you need a prototype because without it you will not have people testing your idea to make sure that it's fun to play and that's the whole point oh my gosh i'm getting crazy that's the whole point of making a game is that it's fun to play and you cannot tell if it's fun to play if you don't have a prototype because without a prototype it's just stuck in the idea phase and there's all these things swirling around and there's nothing there and when your game is in limbo everything slows down nothing gets done ideas are bloated and complex and you're in an echo chamber of yourself you have all these ideas that don't have any purchase nothing makes sense everything is complex and everything slows down and your game dies your idea dies because really wasn't a, an idea in the first place because it didn't have anything to grow and it's really sad when a game idea dies 
because we're hesitant to come back to it. Unless we have a spark of creativity, we won't come back. That's again why you need a prototype before it is too late. Okay, so how do we prototype? Well, I just made a great video about this, about how I've been prototyping mega fast, but we're just gonna run through the bullet points here real quick. So how can you make a prototype quickly? How can you learn to prototype faster so you can have people play your ideas and make sure they're fun? Whenever I start prototyping, I ask myself these three questions. Is the game idea fun? Is it within my scope of knowledge? And can I get this game done in a realistic time frame? Those three questions govern everything else I do. And but how do I find out if it's fun? How do I find out if it's in my scope? of knowledge how do I you know know if I can do it in a realistic timeline I break the idea down into tiny tasks and I start working them out and I start figuring out okay when I break down this idea into all these tasks is it something that is in within my scope of knowledge and is can I do it within a realistic time frame and is it fun well I don't really know if it's fun yet but can I can I get it done and then I start setting myself some deadlines and I start getting things done and I try to make that first thing that I'm doing the prototype and I start building out these little pockets of gameplay scenarios. If you watch that video, you can see all the ones that I did to get prepare the past to where it is now, but you just start building these tiny little micro games that literally take an evening to make maybe. And you start giving them to people to play. And if you do this with your game ideas, you won't go to limbo. You will not go to limbo because you're building a foundation for your game ideas. And building a foundation with your prototype is how you will stay out of limbo and will get you out of limbo. If you're in limbo right now, if you have an idea that is stuck in limbo, that is just bloated and, and development has slowed, cut the fat, cut it up. Start getting ideas out and, and refine it and refine it again and refine it again and refine it a third time, fourth time, fifth time until you get it down to its core idea and then you make it just a tiny little playable nugget and then you send it off to people to play. That's how you get your game out of limbo because if you don't, if you don't get it out of limbo, it will die like many of my games have. It will die. You can actually check out those games that died. I have a video called The Game Dev Graveyard. It's all of my games that never got out of limbo. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully it's a warning. If you want to learn more about prototypes, check out my video about how I've been prototyping crazy fast. Another guy is Edward Labarca. He's crazy talented. He's been helping me out. And last but not least, you can go wish list, prepare the past right now. It is uh, a Pokemon Snap Octopath Traveler game. Go around taking pictures of enemies and you add them to your bestiary and it's a hoot and a half. So if you like collectibles, hit that wish list. Link in the description below. Can't wait for you guys to play it in just a few months, actually. So, thank you guys for being here. I'm going to have a devlog probably on Prepare the Past next week. So, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because you're not going to miss it. Thank you guys for being here. Don't like your game, go to the Game Dev Limbo, and I will see you next time.